Hello everyone, welcome to my October 2019 haul video. Welcome back everyone to another haul video. This is for October of 2019. For those of you not familiar with this series of videos I do here on my channel, it is essentially what the title suggests. I go through all the different things I got in a specific month. This is October of 2019. And without further ado, let's get into some of the comic book related items that I picked up. But first of all, I want to mention that I did get House of X number 6 as well as Powers of X number 6 have been bagged and boarded and are in one of my long boxes and it was too big of a pain in the butt to dig it out. So just know that I did in fact complete that series. I read that series. It's absolutely fantastic. And the reason why I want to mention that right away is because I did decide to continue along with the Jonathan Hickman X-Men related items. The first up here is X-Men number one written by Jonathan Hickman. And this is of course continuing along with the world in which he has already set up a foundation for. I'm also getting New Mutants as well. There are a few X-Men titles that have launched along with X-Men number one. It's New Mutants, Excalibur, X-Factor, um, a couple of more, and I know that they're just going to expand from there. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go with picking up these issues just because they seem to be never-ending and never-expanding when it comes to all of the X-Men titles, and I really don't have enough room to get every single title that I would, I would want. I may just wait for trades. But next up here is one that I think none of you are not familiar with, and this is Supergirl number 35. It's continuing along the Mark Andreco run that I've been getting every single issue, I believe, from issue 21 up until now. So it's been quite a few issues. And the next couple of things are all from the Boom Studios Firefly comic. First up here is something that I didn't pick up when it came out because I wasn't really sure actually what it was until now. And this is Firefly Bad Company One Shot. And it is something that I fits into... The continuity somewhere. I believe it's after 6 before 7. So I really need to check up on that. But just know that it fits in there somewhere. Uh, next up is one that I didn't pick up that I was missing and that is issue number 8 of Firefly. And then of course since I got issue 8 I also ended up getting issue number 10 which came out this month and I think 9 came out last month so I'm I'm getting these in all the wrong order, but just know in fact that I'm I'm getting them. <laughs> that's that's the most important part. And the last things I have here are actually really, really large things that are part of the DC Black label. First up here is Joker slash Harley Criminal Sanity. This is another one of their Joker Harley DC Black Label Dark Series R-rated books. The next up here is the final issue of the Superman Year One that's done by Frank Miller and drawn by John Romita Jr. This is the variant cover that's done by Frank Miller. I've been getting the Frank Miller variant covers all along, so I figured I might as well get the last one. It's kind of nice that these are rather limited to three issues because they're rather thicker books than the regular issues are. They're also, of course, with super large dimensions. Now let's move on to all of the movie-related items. As I said in last month's haul video, that I would make up for kind of a lack of movies that I picked up then, now, and in fact, I did. And there are quite a lot of movies here, so I'll go through them as quickly as possible so we're not here for too long of a time. First up here is the Blu-ray DVD ultraviolet combination of Shin Godzilla. Next up here is something to add to the Robert Rodriguez section, and that is the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, and digital HD combo of Sin City A Dame to Kill For, which is the sequel to Sin City. And I no longer have the 3D capabilities, but I was able to find this for such a cheap price that I really couldn't pass it up, plus it has kind of a cool slipcover. Next up here is the 4K Ultra HD edition of... Us by Jordan Peele. This is one of my favorite films of this year. Please check out the individual review I did for when it came out in theaters. 
Next is a film from last year that I kind of wish I saw last year because it probably would have been in my favorites list of all of the films I did last year, and that is Suspiria by Luca Guadagnino. And this is just the Blu-ray edition. There is not a 4K edition of this film right now. At least I don't think so. I could be wrong, though. Next up is another film that is one of my favorite films of this year, and this is the Blu-ray edition of Booksmart, which is directed by Olivia Wilde. There is not a UHD edition of this film that I'm aware of, and I don't think they ever plan on doing it, but the Blu-ray will definitely suffice because I think this is a really good film. Please check out the individual review I did for it on my channel when it came out in theaters earlier this year. And next up is a film that is part of a series that I've been slowly getting over the last couple of Octobers, and this is Insidious Chapter 3. This is not directed by James Wan, who did the first two films. This is directed by Lee Wanell, who worked on the screenplay for the first two films, as well as doing the screenplay and directing this film. Next is another Luca Guadagnino film. I guess I didn't really plan on getting two Luca Guadagnino films, but this is Call Me By Your Name. This is a critically acclaimed film that came out last year. Next up here is a film which I also did a review for on my channel Once Upon a Time a couple of years ago, and that is Loving, which is directed by Jeff Nichols, and starring Ruth Nega as well as Joel Edgerton. The next two films are a couple of $5 Blu-rays that I found. First up here is Legends of the Fall, which is an Edward Zwick film. This is a film I've never seen before, and I've been wanting to watch it recently, and I just happened to find the Blu-ray. Next up is a film in a similar manner, and this is Romancing the Stone, which is directed by Robert Zemeckis, and starring Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner. And the next two films are going to be films that I think you've seen similar versions of that I've picked up in the past. And this is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, but the UHD 4K edition. As you know, I've been rebuying these all along, getting the upgrades from the older Blu-rays that have older masters and older aesthetics when it comes to their video quality. These look so much better, and I'm really glad to add this to the collection because the next one here is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince 4K UHD edition, and this means that I now have finally completed collecting and upgrading all of my Harry Potter films to the UHD format, and I'm really glad that I did because I don't have to worry about it now. I'm one of those people who get really, really worried and nervous about starting something when it comes to the collection and not finishing it or only doing it partially and never finishing it. So here I am finally finishing it and I cannot be happier. And last but oh most definitely not least is actually a Criterion edition. If you are aware of this channel, next month's haul video will basically be entirely dedicated to the 50% off Criterion Collection sale at my local Barnes & Noble, but right now, this is one that I picked up in October, and this was actually done at the 24-hour flash sale that Criterion had on their website, and this is Satyajit Ray's The Big City. And the reason why this is so important to me, because I tried to buy this back in July from my local Barnes & Noble. They didn't have any in stock, so I had to order it from their warehouse. And I ordered it from their warehouse, and it came in damaged. I had to return it. The other one came in damaged, so I had to return that. And I kind of got fed up with trying to get a non-damaged copy from Barnes & Noble's warehouse. And I was able to get it from... Criterion Collection, still with slight damage, if you can see there up top, as well as in the back here, there's indentations. I don't understand why it's only this film that seems to have all of its copies slightly damaged in the same spots. So, that has been my entire October 2019 haul. If there is anything else in this video that you want to see in any more depth, please let me know because I'll do an individual review on it. Once again, if you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.